What's going on everybody? This is me saying you are tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pop. Guys, hope you're having a fantastic day and a fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Guys, we've got something very special for you today. In this video, I ordered a $50 Chow's Collectibles mystery box. So you guys have probably followed, you know, a couple other YouTube channels, or if you follow Chow's Collectibles, they're a really cool company. You know that they drop some really cool mystery boxes. So I decided to, you know, go on their uh, monthly mystery box, take, take a chance on it and see what it's all about. So in this box, it's 50 bucks, comes with six total pops. Um, it comes with four commons and then either two uh, chase, exclusive or vaulted pops. So either way, you're gonna get your money back in value, no matter what in this box. And you have the chance of getting something really cool. I can't remember off the top of my head what like the top grails are in this box, but there's some pretty cool ones. I think there was like a metallic Deadpool, like I think the guy from Back to the Future, I think Dr. Dr. Brown, I think was another one or something like that. But there were some cool grails. But anyways, guys, Without any further ado, let's see what's in this box. All right guys, I don't know how I wanna open this without like seeing everything, so maybe I'll like close my eyes when we open this and I'll, I'll try and do this the best that I can. Okay, there's a pop protector right there. Um, so we, we'll, we'll get that one last. So let's go ahead and we'll get this guy out of here. But anyways guys, let's get this one. Shut that box so we don't see. Okay, and we have the, I don't even know who this is. He's from South Park and it is Tool Shed. Danielle, do you know who Tool Shed is from South Park? I have no idea who this is, but uh, this is just, like I said, it's a it's a common pop, so uh, $10, right? Yeah, is that is that what we're aiming at, it, I guess? So it's common pop, Tool Shed, don't know who he is, don't watch South Park, but anyways, that's the first pop, we'll put that guy right there. We'll close his eyes and uh, we'll see what else we've got in here, so like I said, we're leaving those two um, pop protectors for last, because I know that's what's gonna be the good stuff in there. Okay guys, we're going in for the third one and uh, I'm gonna open this up a little bit more. I, I'm not looking, I promise I haven't seen any of the, uh, the quote unquote better pops. But anyways guys, here is the third one, three, two, one. Um, and, oh, looks like we have actually Steve Irwin. That's actually a pretty cool one. I like that one. Uh, so there is a chase variant of this guy and he's holding a turtle, but the common one, he is holding a crocodile because he's the crocodile hunter, obviously. So that's a really cool pop to get and it's a new one as well. So this is a common that I'm actually not, you know, mad to get, honestly. So there you go. So third pop, we've got Steve Irwin. We've got one more common pop and then the two are gonna be exclusive. So let's get that last common pop. There we go, I'm blocking everything. Okay, all right, so we've got this guy out. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh, and it looks like it's the regular Energizer Bunny. Okay, uh, so I, I just picked up the flocked one from the Funko shop not too long ago, so I guess that's that's interesting. That's another new pop, which it's not a bad one necessarily. I think they did a really good job on this, but that is the last common pop in this box, so uh, I'm just excited to see what we've got for our two exclusives. So, without any further ado, let's get to the last two and, and see what we've got in here. Here we go, we're on this one. The first exclusive, I have no idea what it is, but here we go, three, two, one. Looks like we have the light up Iron Man. Okay, so this was, I think, a Walgreens exclusive. Um, you can like push a little button in the side of the box. Yeah, you can see it right there, um, and it lights up. I have no idea, you know, what this goes for. Um, on the Funko app or on eBay or anything, but uh, I think that's actually not a bad exclusive. If I had to guess, it's probably like 20 or 30 bucks, but that is really cool. That's not a pop that I own, so not bad at all, but let's get into the last one and uh, see what we've got. So I got to hold the last one. Here we go. Three, two, one. And we have, looks like it is, I, I have no idea who this is. Uh, Witchy Poo from HR Puff and Stuff. Uh, okay, so this was, looks like it was from New York Comic Con 2019, limited edition, and I think this actually came in a bundle with uh, some of the characters from HR Pub and stuff. It's a show I have no idea anything about because, you know, it was definitely before my time, but there you go. I have no idea what that's going for either, but uh, let's calculate this and see, you know, if our value of what we spent came out and uh, if we came out on top or not. We're calculating all the commons. These are about 10 bucks each. So we have $40 in value right here. Let's kind of see what these things go for right here. Um, like I said, I don't think this one's gonna be a lot. 
that one might be a little bit more, but you never know. So let's look this up and see. Uh, we'll, we'll look up a witchy poo. Looks like on the Funko app, it is going for 27 bucks. So not, not bad, that, that's decent. So let's go ahead and uh, actually, you know what? We should use the scan in feature. That would probably help out a lot in this case. Uh, let's see what we've got in here. And then the Iron Man actually is less than a uh, witchy poo. It looks like this guy is $23 on um, according to the Funko app. So overall, we'll do a little bit of math. So we've got 40, 27, 23. So it looks like uh, right here we would have 50 plus that. So $90 in value technically. So technically, according to what this Funko app says, we, we came out on top, which is great. Um, but I, I guess I was expecting a little bit more, you know, I didn't really know much about witchy poo but this one's pretty cool but anyways guys let me know how you think i did in the comment section below do you guys order from chalice a lot i think it was a pretty cool box um it's fun to kind of take a chance and maybe see some of the cool things that you can get but uh like i said let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought and if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big old thumbs up remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos here on the channel but thank you so much for watching again you guys are the best remember to be kind of one another and always promote positivity and i'll see you in the next video Catch you guys later.